a lot of people get to work from home, but should we add police chiefs to the list? The top cop in Memphis, Michigan is asking to do his job remotely, but he's moving to Grand Rapids and wants to run the department from clear across the state. Our Paula Tutman went to Memphis to take a look at his proposal. Welcome to Memphis, Memphis, Michigan. The sign says a pleasant place to live. According to the last census in 2010, about 1,100 people called Memphis, Michigan home. But one key person doesn't live here, doesn't live anywhere near here, and in fact tells me today is moving day to move even three hours further away. This is beautiful, peaceful country, nestled as a hamlet en route to bigger cities to the east like Port Huron. But like any town, no matter the size, you need a police presence. Break-ins here and there. And the bank has been robbed a few times. Accidents, stuff like that is about all you really handle. You might get a garage break-in here and there. But Memphis has seven part-time police officers and Memphis one full-time cop, the chief, Cal Luria. But police chief Cal Luria isn't in Memphis today. A single dad, today, he's moving his only child to Grand Rapids. Why are you moving so, to Grand Rapids? And you're a police okay. chief here. Well, my daughter has a unique opportunity uh, to finish out her high school years at my alma mater. Most everyone we talk to agree. This chief has earned his $45,000 a year, rebuilding a troubled rural police department into something neighbors can count on. Um, he's well respected. So he's willing to telecommute work from Grand Rapids four days a week, drive to Memphis one day a week, and for meetings and town events. Dispatch will call me at all hours of the night. Uh, my officers call me uh, throughout their shift with questions, and I continue to direct and steer them. Uh, I think you can be a leader uh, without being President. He says he's taken a $10,000 pay cut, won't seek other employment in his new city, and will still be on call 24-7, driving his own vehicle back and forth. Based on his reputation, some residents are okay with the idea. If it was anyone else, I'd, I would say no, um, but he's done some great things for the, for the city. And some people aren't. But I would prefer that he spent most of his time in town. Put city council member Jason Sofa in the not okay with it category. I know the general consensus of most of the people in the community seem against it, um, but we have we have some talking to do and hopefully we get this figured out. The Memphis Police Commission meeting is next Tuesday. City council meeting follows. It's very possible a decision could be made then. The chief says, look, let's just give this three months and revisit it. But here's the irony. Even if the city council decides not to go with this plan, They'll be stuck with it until they find a new chief anyway. We'll keep you posted. Paula Tutman, Local 4.